Impeachment proceedings to remove Robert Mugabe from power will begin later after a deadline for him to resign passed. Zimbabwe's leader stunned his country on Sunday when he failed to announce that he was stepping down. An ultimatum from his ZANUP party to resign by midday on Monday a face impeachment also came and went with no word from Mr Mugabe. Video Robert Mugabe speech in the party will now press ahead with impeachment by tabling a motion, and it believes it can all be done and dusted in a couple of days contrary to the view of some experts. We want to get rid of this animal called Mugabe. We have the numbers, the opposition is also going to support us, said Zanup MP Vong Imaperi. We are going to impeach the man has to go, MP Mackenzie Cube told the AFP news agency. Image Vice President Emerson Nangagwa is said to be returning to Zimbabwe shortly. Zimbabwe's military chief said on Monday evening that a road map to hand over power had been agreed with Mr Mugabe. Constantino Chiwenga said Vice President Emerson Nangagwa, whose firing led to the unrest in the country, would return to Zimbabwe shortly to meet the president. Video I am here because Mugabe must go rubbing the noses of his opponents and most of his citizens. Mr Mugabe is also set to host a cabinet meeting on Tuesday at his official residence. The 93-year-old has ruled Zimbabwe with an iron fist since 1980 and the end of British colonialism, but events last week have brought to him to the brink. The vice president's sacking put Mugabe's unpopular wife, Grace, in prime position to succeed him. Image 1979 Robert Mugabe and the Zimbabwe African People's Union ZAPU leader Joshua Nkomo at the Lancaster House talks that led to the end of colonial rule Image 1980 Mr Mugabe and then UK Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher meet at the year Rhodesia became Zimbabwe Image 1980 Mr Mugabe, then newly elected as Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, holds a press conference in his garden Image 1982 Mr Mugabe visited the Queen at Buckingham Palace with his first wife, Sally Image 1984 Mr Mugabe addressing a crowd at Harare Stadium a year after suppressing an armed rebellion in Indabeliland Image 1984 he was awarded Doctor Honoris Causa at the University of Harare, an institution he would later be Chancellor of Image 1986 Mr Mugabe leads the scene of the African National Congress ANC officers that were bombed days earlier by a South African commando Image 1986 Cuban President Fidel Castro C shares a laugh with Zimbabwean President Kanan Banana are and then Prime Minister Mr Mugabe L. Image 1988 Mr Mugabe speaks to the press at the United Nations about the Africa Prize for Leadership Image 1993 Chinese President Jiang Zemin L. welcomes Mr Mugabe R. with a Chinese honor guard during a welcoming ceremony outside the Great Hall of the People in Beijing Image 1996 Robert and Grace Mugabe married in a ceremony attended by 6,000 guests Image the couple became known for their outfits. She was nicknamed First Shopper and Gucci Grace Image 2005 Mr Mugabe was sometimes seen asleep in public in later years, such as here at an African Union meeting, but friends insisted he remained sharp of mind Image Mr Mugabe addresses a rally in Sanyati, November 2005, on the eve of the senatorial elections Image 2017 with his time in office drawing to a close, Mr Mugabe was seen negotiating with generals. Pick Herald newspaper The Army promptly seized power and put the president under house arrest but insisted it had not staged a coup. Despite the impeachment machinery getting moving on Tuesday, lawyers have told Sky News it could take months to prize him from power. Tarasai Mutangi, a constitutional lawyer, said he knows the law is on his side, that the constitution is on his side and that the kingpins of this process want to do it constitutionally, and that means it's going to take quite some time. Under the Zimbabwean constitution, the president can be impeached for four things serious misconduct failure to obey, uphold or defend this constitution willful violation of this constitution inability to perform the functions of the office because of physical or mental incapacity.